like to take this moment to uh, commend Speaker Prieto, uh, Senator Sweeney, and Governor Christie. Some time ago when we first uh, began this journey, one of the things that we were calling upon is for people to check their egos at the door and to get in a room and to work this out, to find that middle ground and that compromise. Uh, and in doing, uh, in doing so, I believe that today is not once again about parties. Uh, it's not about which house you're in. Uh, it's not about claiming victory. It's about the families in Atlantic County, Atlantic City, and throughout the state. It's about doing the right thing to make sure that we don't allow personal differences to stop us from ensuring that good policy gets enacted. So today is truly a victory for the families of Atlantic County, the families of Atlantic City, and the families throughout the state. One of the things that uh, we said from the beginning that was very important was that there is a plan. And a plan, therefore, brings with it transparency. And through the efforts of uh, competing bills and competing ideas, we now have a plan. Uh, that plan will be forged and put together to, uh, through the city's efforts, working with the local finance board, and require the scrutiny that should be given. If we look at the state's history in Atlantic City, if we're honest, it's wrought with failure. The state for years has approved budgets that have grown. We've had a finance board that hasn't uh, been on top of what it should be doing and monitoring what's going on in Atlantic City. And so to have a bill initially that says the state comes in with a designee without a plan, uh, certainly by everybody compromising and working together, we have made it better, but not just for the state, but also the families uh, of Atlantic County. The other thing that is important that with that, of course, brings a transparency so that uh, with a director or a commissioner being involved, uh, working directly with the local finance board, we also ensure that uh, whatever decisions are made are made with the scrutiny that the public deserves and that we don't wind up at any time taking public assets and putting them in private hands, which is something that we all agree upon and we all work together to make sure we accomplish that. The other portion of the plan that I would, I would point out, the governor was nice enough, he came down to Atlanta County and he guaranteed, he guaranteed that he would honor the bipartisan freeholder board, he guaranteed that he would honor the bipartisan mayor's association and ensure that that 13.5% goes to the county. So the way this bill is drafted with the governor's assurances and, and with my conversations uh, with the mayor, we now know that uh, Atlantic County residents will not be forced to bail out Atlantic City, but it will be a team effort that everyone will be working together to make sure um, that this goes through. So I truly want to commend once again uh, Speaker Prieto, Senator Sweeney, Governor uh, Christie for coming together to forming a plan that is better. Uh, certainly when, when we work together, we get better results, and this is an example of that. And with Memorial Day coming up, I invite all of you down to the great city of Atlantic City. You can still get your red balls and whatever it is that uh, you like at any of our local eateries or pubs, and there's a good time to be had. So I thank you very much, and I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for including me, uh, once again allowing me to be a voice for the people of Atlantic County.